are in the middle of the holiday season, but for many along the Atlantic coast, it's just not the same as they work to recover from hurricane damage. West News' Tony Atkins checked in with the people in Volusia County still reeling from this storm. Yeah, I never made it up uh, over the bridges, so I had to stick it out here. James Menzenheim remembers being stuck at his apartment on A1A as Hurricane Nicole passed through. It got really bad. I mean, the winds were 90 plus. Um, mm -hmm. Damage to my motorcycle, damage to a lot of property around here. This holiday season meant more funds going toward repairs more than anything else. Then even traveling after, you know, we had to fix holes in our roofs and the water was coming in, so you couldn't really take much of a time off at Christmas and you had to spend your money in other places. The uh, roof, um, a lot of roofs were were damaged. I walked with Mike Belecki through his neighborhood where much of the debris was clear, but tarp atop roofs still lingered. I think this is the last one's the ceiling. Mm -hmm. So when you first saw that, what was your reaction? I was uh, flabbergasted. A four by four hole caved in his home. But there was some leakage mm -hmm. poured in through the uh, ceiling. And uh, as a result, a little hole developed in, the, in my ceiling, uh, four foot by four foot. He still has to fix it. Initial estimates from the Volusia County property appraiser shows a $481 million total in damages from Nicole alone. For some, it meant this holiday funds went elsewhere, making it harder for some to stay near longtime neighbors or family. I got to say God bless them to be because you're not looking at just damage. You're looking at some people who got injured, some people who couldn't make it out and, you know, their houses are just crushed. In Volusia County, Tony Atkins, West 2 News.